Three benefits to running in nature. Hi, I'm Rhonda Patrick. Just wrapped up day six of my Nature Run Everyday October. First and foremost, lower levels of stress hormones like cortisol. Number two, there's even more dramatic improvements in mood and lowering of depressive symptoms compared to running in urban environments. And number three, cleaner air, less air pollution. Air pollution itself increases inflammatory biomarkers and increases inflammation and stress hormones. So let's talk about stress hormones like cortisol. So one study found that people that are urban dwellers, so they live in an urban environment, when they spend time out in nature, they can lower their cortisol levels by almost 10%. So cortisol is an important stress hormone. It rises in a very cyclical manner. So it is involved in regulating circadian rhythm, how everything in our body is going in a certain, you know, along a clock in a certain rhythm. And cortisol is really high in the morning. It's involved in that, that morning awakening response, the cortisol awakening response. It helps, you know, increase energy um, to start the day. It's really important to have cortisol elevated during that time. However, the problem is chronic elevation of cortisol. Because cortisol is a steroid hormone, it regulates a significant portion of the human genome, almost 20%. So that's like one in five genes that are either turned on and activated or turned off and sort of depressed in response to elevation of cortisol. So if you think about it, you know, our body does things on a clock, right? And, and so that cortisol is involved in making sure things are turned on at the right time and turned off at the right time. But when you have that chronic elevation of cortisol, the timing's all screwed up. So things are just on and off and on and off like when they're not supposed to be. So it causes dysregulation in a lot of different physiological processes in the body. So um, lowering that, that chronic cortisol by about 10% is pretty significant. Um, the other study that I, I'm interested in sort of telling you guys about is a study that compared people that did physical activity in either a metropolitan environment versus a, in, um, you know, out in nature. And they did the same sort of exercise protocol. I believe it was like a walk or something like that. I can't remember all the details. But um, the study found that the people that did the nature sort of exercise had drastic improvements in um, mood and a lowering of depressive symptoms compared to those that did the metropolitan um, exercise in an urban environment. You know, and also just the air pollution itself, right? You're out, when you're out in an urban environment, you, there's so much more uh, pollution from, from cars and a variety of other you know, industrial factors. So breathing in that air pollution itself has been shown to increase inflammatory biomarkers. So you know, again, chronic low-level inflammation is associated with brain aging, just aging in general. Um, but also it's been shown to uh, be associated with plaques and stuff in the brain. So and, you know, p potentially being correlated to Alzheimer's disease. So again, um, being out in nature, so many benefits, lowering of the stress response, we get improvements in mood, we get you know, uh, decreases in depressive symptoms, and also we're not, you're not, you, know, you have cleaner air, you're not, you're not breathing in that air pollution. So that's day six of Everyday October. I'm doing some form of deliberate exercise every day this month. I hope you guys can join me on this fun, fun time to um, build healthy exercise habits. If you guys have any questions or comments about any of the studies or facts I talked about today, I look forward to reading your comments and responding.